Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, you get to see everything that I uh, acquired during my recent trip to Walt Disney World. Buckle up, cause it's, it's a lot. So, okay, without further ado, let's get started. As you can see, I have it in this giant bag that's not all. There's also more in this bag right here. So I think what I'm gonna end up doing is dividing it out into categories. So we'll do um, apparel, we'll do accessories, we'll do ears, and we'll do plushes. I've already forgotten what I said. Apparel. <laughs> apparel is first. So this first shirt that I got, um, I got it in the Emporium on Main Street in Magic Kingdom. And I really, it, it spoke to me because of the color of the shirt, but also the way that the font looks on it with the, the color gradient. You'll, you'll see in just a second. But it is this Walt Disney World shirt. You can see there that it's got the color gradient in the lettering it goes from a really pretty blue all the way to a yellow y'all know how i feel about yellow and then this color of green that the shirt is is just really interesting um it just like i said it spoke to me and it told me it had to come home with me <laughs> so super excited to get to wear this really soon i love that it's got the old school um the mickey head here in the and the D for Disney. Isn't that cool? I don't know, I thought it was unique. Um, and it's something that I would wear, not just at Disney, I'd wear it at home too. The next apparel item isn't actually for me, it's a gift for Teresa. Uh, you probably know already, if you don't, I'm about to tell you, she loves Maleficent. That is her girl. She thinks Maleficent can do no wrong. And so um, this, when I saw it, was um, had to come home for Teresa. So it is a Maleficent shirt that is um, embroidered in, and it's her with her staff and her little wings out. It's just, it's simple, and it, but it's really cute. Um, this also has a detail on the sleeve. Oh, it says, make my magic black. It says, make my magic black. It's also a really interesting color. It's almost like a rusty, rusty peach, if you will. Um, it's not quite a burnt orange. It's more of a rust, rusty peach, because it's more peach than, anyway. It's a really pretty color. Um, great for the fall. So again, when I saw that, it spoke to me for Teresa and she's going to love this. Last thing in apparel, I'm throwing this into apparel because it's something that you wear, is the Mickey tie-dye mask. Um, I'm not gonna take it out of the packaging because this, this one is actually a gift, um, but it is the Disney exclusive tie-dyed Mickey and he's got really great coloring there starting with blue going to pink purple and then back to blue they had a lot of variety of masks in the park so if that's something that you're wondering about they had a ton and they also had some of the extra large sizes available in the parks um, myself I know that I need the extra large size mask just strictly because of the ear loops. The ear loops on the large are a little bit too small for me and they hurt after a while. The extra large fits great, so that's why I choose that one. It does come a little bit higher up on the face because it's larger, but um, anyway, so take the sizing of the Disney masks with a grain of salt, so don't get upset if you have to have an extra large. Most adults that I know have to have the extra large. All right, that wraps up apparel. And next, let's move into accessories. First up for accessories is this cute little trio of earrings that I found in the Emporium. These are 
Minnie Mouse ear earrings. And they're in three different colors. There's a teal, a purple, and a pink. And they are so cute and dainty that I knew that I had to have them. So here's what they look like. So they're super cute, nice and small. Um, a little bit of a way to wear Minnie Mouse ears without like wearing Minnie Mouse ears, I guess. I do have a larger pair of these earrings that are, um, they're quite large. I, I wear them a lot and a lot of you have commented on them on Instagram and I was not able to find another pair of those while I was there this last time because I was looking because I was going to do them in a giveaway, but I couldn't find any and it wasn't for lack of trying. So, um, but these are super cute. Can't wait to wear these. You all know my love for the ride. It's a small world, the connection I have with that and how much that ride means to me. So when I saw this again in the Emporium, the Emporium was like ground zero for all of my shopping. <laughs> anyway, so when I saw this in the Emporium, I again knew that it had to come home with me and it is an Alex and Ani small world bracelet. See there, the charm says, it's a small world. It's a silver metal on this one. Super cute. I hadn't seen this one before because I guarantee you I would have bought it before now. So I don't know if this one is new or it's maybe just an in the parks release, but either way, it came home with me and I'm very excited to start wearing it. Hey because I'm an idiot and didn't flip the darn charm over, I just noticed, like just noticed, that on the back of the Small World charm is the clock face from the ride. Like that's a huge detail and good job me for not noticing it until I put it on. <laughs> anyway, just thought I'd pop in here and let you know that. I'm, I'm Kristen from the future, now back to you, Kristen from 20 minutes ago. This next item is not necessarily an accessory, but I did get it um, to make as a, um, a bag charm for my purse. And I'll give you one guess as to what character it is. And if you guessed Pluto, you were 100% correct. This is a, almost like a tiered keychain. It's got four different Plutos on it. It's the largest charm is a standard pluto sitting ever so happy wagging his tail the next one down is one that's a little bit a little bit smaller and he's kind of sitting hunched over and looking ever so curious the third one is pluto standing up looking a little mischievous you wonder what he's about to get into and then the final Pluto on this keychain is laying down. One thing that I really liked about this is the fact that the collars on all four of these are different colors. So super excited about this one. Can't wait to get it on my purse. All right, this next thing does fall into the category of accessories. I won it in a giveaway and I was able to meet the giveaway um, group that did it. Maddie was super sweet. I'm so glad I got to meet her in person at the resort. I will link her Instagram page here. She also has um, an Etsy shop where she makes those really cute beaded bracelets that I still need to order. <laughs> anyway, so the thing that I won in the giveaway, one of the things was this super great red lounge fly backpack and it has the ear hats stitched into it, embroidered into it. This is not a typical Loungefly mini backpack. This is larger than that, and it is quite movable. It's not very stiff like, like the typical Loungeflies are because this one's made of canvas. So let's open it up and take a peek inside. Here you can see the lining is again the red Mickey hats, the red background with the Mickey hats on it. It has a zipper pocket right here. And then it also has a, just a loose pocket right there. Good for sticking a cell phone in. And then it also has 
a zipper pocket right up here in the front. So I got this on my, was it my last day there? Second to last day there? And I already had my backpack planned for my last day, which that video is already out by the time you see this. So you know that was my Magic Kingdom day where I had my pink Cinderella lounge fly mini backpack that went just so perfectly with the shirt I had on that Gus Gus shirt. So this one I will be carrying with me in November when I go for rest in peace wine and dine weekend. One last thing that stands in a category in and of itself is again something for Teresa and um, if there was ever anything that was perfect for Teresa it's it's this. Like, look how large that is. That is the size of my face. <laughs> how would you like to wake up and see that staring at you in the middle of the night? <laughs> I wouldn't. Um, this is a mug. Her, I'm not gonna take it apart. Um, her horns right here actually come off, so it's like the lid. Um, I've noticed Disney's been doing a lot of mugs like this recently where they make a component for the top. I know that there is a Mandalorian mug that's the same way. The, the lid is like the top of his helmet. Um, anyway, but the handle is that lovely lime green that, in case you didn't know, all of the villains in some form have a color of lime green involved with them. That was what Walt Disney said really kind of deciphered the villains from the good guys. Tell me some other villains that have lime green involved with them down below because I know there's a bunch. So anyway, she, Maleficent, is looking ever so, ever so sassy. She's looking like she's about to get into trouble because she's, um, girlfriend's the queen of the side eye. Check that out. Given the side eye. So super cute mug. It's actually really heavy. And again, the thing is massive. It's utterly massive. So Teresa, have fun finding a place for that. I don't, you're welcome. And now to move on into arguably my favorite category, ears. And if I can say that this trip was defined by one piece of merchandise, it was ears. See what I mean? Let's dive into what we got. So the first set of ears are these gorgeous 2020 celebration ears. I have shown these before. I've worn them in pictures before. The reason I picked up a couple of extra pairs is because while I was there, any of the 2020 merchandise was buy one, get one free. So you could get two pairs of ears for the price of one. And since I'm now an annual pass holder, I got them for even cheaper. And there was a couple of people in my little Ohana group that missed out on these during Marathon and Princess and absolutely wanted them so bad. So Valerie, Jen, here they are. And they're just stunning. The next set of ears that I got are the new Up ears and these are absolutely adorable so on the front of them you have the kind of plastic filled ear with the up house and then inside the little clear ear pouch you've got little pom-poms to symbolize the balloons you've got the clouds as the bow the grape soda as the centerpiece of the bow it's that same plastic filled with those balloons wonderful little phrase adventure is out there and when i tell you these are stunning I mean that they are stunning. Up is not necessarily my favorite Pixar movie. I think that falls to maybe Coco, Toy Story, but I can appreciate these for what they are and they are absolutely gorgeous. The next set of ears is actually part of the giveaway that I won and they are a relatively new release in the parks. They were quite sought after from what I could tell because a lot of places were out of them. People were asking about them and all of that. And that is the Mickey Hands plush ears. So as you can see, you've got cute little Mickey Hands there and um, they actually look really cute on. Like, I have Mickey Hands coming out of my head. <laughs> Um, I saw a lot of really cute people doing just Mickey bounds with these ears on and it really 
it, it, it went, it made sense for that. So not something that I would have probably ever bought for myself, but I'm super excited to have these in my collection. These next pair of ears were a new release the day that Gerald and I were in Hollywood Studios. And we actually found out about them through Instagram. Thanks, Instagram. And as soon as we did, actually we were sitting at the table at 50s Prime Time and I saw the post on Instagram by one of the uh, people that I follow. And I was like, uh, where are these? And they posted in their story that they had been spotted at Hollywood Studios. And hello, we were there, so we had to go on a hunt for them and we found them. And it is the yellow velvet ears that appeared in the Instagram chooses my Disney day at Hollywood Studios with Gerald. So these are a really cute, really soft velvet on the ear. The bow is like a polyester type. It's a different texture than the ear itself. And the color is a very warm toned golden, like a golden rod. It's not a true yellow, but it's not a gold either. Um, they're just, I got so many fall vibes from these and Pluto, let's get real. I knew, I knew they had to be in my collection. The other ones that they introduced while I was there were the orange, kind of that corduroy material with the black and white checkered bow that looked like, um, what did people were calling them the, the pumpkin spice latte ears and <laughs> I'm not buying that. I'm not, I have very strong feelings against pumpkin spice. So anyway, these are amazing and I can't wait to take them back to Disney to visit again in November for wine and dine or what would have been wine and dine. All right, another newer release that happened was the gorgeous, stunning, emerald green sequin ears. And if you've been watching my channel for a little bit, you know that I have a pair of Brooks Adrenaline running shoes that are this exact color and they have sparkles in them. So I knew that th these had to be added to my collection no matter what, because hello, my running shoes match them. The ears are made out of the sequin, the standard sequin. The bow is almost like a metallic taffeta. It's a beautiful, beautiful contrast there. The bow is a little bit lighter than the ears. And these are stunning when they're on. See? Just so pretty. Just so pretty. Okay, next, because we're not done. I saw these and because I'm a good friend, I knew Teresa had to have them. I would never buy them, but I knew that she would probably wear them every chance she got, including to work at the hospital and you better believe I expect her to do it because it's the Maleficent horns. So these are her horns. They're wrapped in a purple like sequin, purple sequin, almost like a rope kind of thing. The ears themselves are like a matte sparkle. They are plush. And then along the side here, we have her scepter. And I, this is not my thing, but it is Teresa's. So <laughs> enjoy these, Teresa. Last, but certainly not least, are arguably the most sought after, the most fought after ears of 2020. Do I dare be that bold? Yes. It is the macaroon ears available only in the France Pavilion in World Showcase at Epcot. And the one thing that I did not know about these ears when I saw the pictures of them is that these are plastic. Do you hear that? These are heavy. These are so heavy. So heavy, in fact, that they went ahead and put a teeth grabber things on the headband in the top so that it grabs onto your hair. So taking a closer look at these, you've got the two pink macaroons that make up the ears. Great detail on the sides of these, as well as on the inside where you can see what would be the, the macaroon filling. And then we move on to the bow and it's got a, a really pretty clear sequin on it so that when it catches the light, it really highlights the color that it's over. 
Right to the middle, we've got a uh, silver Eiffel Tower. And then at the very top of the Eiffel Tower is a little Minnie Mouse bow. Along the side, we do have written in it, Bon Appetit. And the headband itself is a navy blue with a really pretty inset sparkle. So, oh, they're so heavy and I, they will probably give me a headache but I'm wearing them anyway, because they're just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Chef's kiss. Moving on to the last category, and that is plushes, or plush. Plushes? That's the plural. Plushes. One of these I knew that I had to have just because of who it was, and the other was a gift for my kiddos. So the first one is Halloween Pluto. Look at how cute he is. He's got a little basket in his mouth that has Halloween candy in it. He's in his best little costume, which is the a skeleton, and he is ready to go trick-or-treating. He's just ready to go. I, I wondered if this glows in the dark. I don't think that it does because it's just the plush material. It's not anything. It's not that glow in the dark type of material. So um, anyway, super cute. Going to be put out on my little Pluto nightstand during Halloween. And look at that sweet little face. Happy Halloween, guys. The final plush and the final item in the haul is one that I got for my boys. I do have twins, so I did get two of these, but I will only show you one because they're the same. They are, they being my boys, they are big into Mickey Mouse. They are big into space and astronauts and dinosaurs and dirt and all of that good stuff. So when I saw this, it combined two of their favorite things, and that is an astronaut and that is Mickey Mouse. So I found this in the little gift shop that's right off of Space Mountain. And I knew that sweet little Mickey had to come home to be with my boys. So he is in his spacesuit, including helmet. He's got some embroidery on his torso as well as the sleeves. And then down we have him in his space boots and he is super cute, ready to go walk on the moon. The boys were so excited about this. They have, I gave it to them the morning that I got back, the morning after I got back, and it has been like tucked under their arm almost everywhere that they go. So they super love this. And you know, if you get somebody a gift, like that's the response that you want, you know? Um, so I knew that I hit a home run in this regard. Now here's the thing that they wanted that I could not find. And tell me if you've been able to find something like this. They want a Rex from Toy Story plush. I have yet to see one of those in the parks, at the Disney store, on Shop Disney, anywhere. I cannot find that. I don't even know that it exists. So if it does, let me know down in the comments down below and you will literally be my favorite person. All right, y'all, I hope that you have enjoyed this little haul from my recent trip to Disney World. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me down below what your favorite item was and if we're twins with anything. All right, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.